Did you know that starfish are not really fish at all? They don't have gills, fins, or scales like true fish. To propel themselves, these creatures have tiny tube-like feet that help them move. That's as opposed to fish, which use their tails for a similar purpose. Those key differences are among the reasons why scientists prefer to call them sea stars. We use both names throughout the list though, FYI. But these creatures are more properly identified as echinoderms, which are marine mammals closely related to sea urchins and sea cucumbers. About 1,500 species of them are found on seabeds throughout the world's oceans, and some of them are pretty bizarre. So let's have a look at 16 of the world's strangest starfish species. Number 16, Royal Starfish. Let's start things off on a majestic note with this aptly named starfish. Its bold coloration is the obvious source of its common name, since purple and gold are strongly linked with kings and queens. They're found along North America's east coast and are especially prevalent in the Caribbean. Researchers say it dines on mollusks at a depth of around 100 feet, 30 meters. But they're known to occur at depths of 700 feet, 213 meters. Unlike many other species, this animal will consume its prey whole and has a voracious appetite. In fact, they're thought to consume more organisms than the typical starfish species. Number 15, Giant Spined Star. This species can display a diameter of some 24 inches, that's 61 centimeters, and are usually found on rocky shores from British Columbia to Southern California near the low tide mark. Their dense bodies are covered with thick blue spines, hence their common name. The spines have plier-shaped appendages that help to protect the sea star from predators. As a result, this species is preyed upon by only a few animals, including sea otters. But when the giant spine star feeds, it does so by extending its stomach so it can fit into tiny gaps like mussel shells. Number 14, Pincushion Star. These animals occur in a variety of colors throughout waters of the Indo-Pacific. While its inflated body and short arms give it a strong resemblance to a pincushion, the appearance serves a more important purpose. It serves to camouflage this animal so it looks like a type of coral on the seabed. Researchers say the pincushion star provides a habitat for certain marine animals. That includes smaller shrimp that hide underneath it, and the ray-finned star pearlfish is known to make its home within the creature's large body cavity and occasionally emerges to feed. Number 13, Chocolate Chip Star. This starfish might look like a stylized chocolate chip cookie, but you wouldn't like the taste of it. Those dark nubs are actually a defense mechanism that makes them appear scary and serves to discourage predators. And it's an effective strategy because they have few known predators. That protected quality has attracted smaller species like shrimp and juvenile starfish to settle on the surface of this animal. They can measure about 12 inches in diameter, 30 centimeters, and occur in several colors, including red or brown. Specimens colored light tan appear like cookie dough, and the dark horns inspire the common name. Number 12, Red Knobbed Sea Star. As you might guess, this critter's unique appearance has made it popular in the aquarium trade. They're found in the Indo-Pacific, in reefs and shallow tide pools at depths up to 330 feet, 100 meters. The bright red tubercles are distributed along its five arms and extend upwards. Those structures make it look like it's a variation of the aforementioned chocolate chip sea star, but it's a different species. Even so, it kind of has the appearance of a candy or another confection. Maybe we could call it a peppermint sea star. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 11, feathered stars. Properly identified as crinoids, these animals are not technically sea stars, but they're very closely related. So on that basis, we're including them. As adults, some of them are attached to the seabed by a stalk and are often called sea lilies. But the unstalked varieties are called feathered stars due to their unique appearance. They typically have five arms or rays that are covered in feather-like pinules. Those are small structures that are spread to capture planktonic particles that drift in the water and are used as a food source. Not unlike sea stars, crinoids have tube feet located on their arms and pinules which are used for manipulating food particles. Did you know there are around 600 species of crinoids? Some of them are found at extreme depths of 30,000 feet, 9,000 meters. Number 10, Panamic Cushion Star. This species is widely distributed in tropical waters from the Gulf of California and Peru to Hawaii and the islands of the Galapagos. 
While their knobby appearance is beautiful to behold, they also serve an important function as a keystone within tide pools. Experts say their predation of mussels helps to keep that population under control. But it's time-consuming work because it takes this starfish about six hours to chow down a single mussel. These cushion stars have a diameter of about 12 inches, 30 centimeters, although larger sizes have been reported. In Mexico, the creature's skeleton is often sold as an ornament or souvenirs. Number 9. Leather Stars They grow about 10 inches, 25 centimeters in diameter, and occur along the west coast of North America from Alaska to Mexico. They're known to have hearty appetites and feed on sea urchins, sea sponges, and sponges. But they stay away from morning sea stars. That species aggressively preys upon leather stars, which make up half of their diet. Maybe predators are attracted by the aroma. Researchers say that leather stars give off a distinctive odor that smells like garlic and sulfur. Number eight, necklace starfish. They resemble jewelry so closely that these creatures could be mistaken for such. They're found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans where they feed on small invertebrates and sponges. Despite their delicate appearance, these starfish are known for their hardiness and are often kept in saltwater aquariums. Measuring about 12 inches, 30 centimeters across, they're also known as the red-tiled starfish. Number seven, sunflower sea star. Some sources claim that this is the world's largest starfish, although not all experts agree. But with 24 limbs and an arm span of some 3.3 feet, one meter, we can all agree they're big. And they're known as efficient hunters that can move quickly. More than 15,000 tube feet located on their underside allow them to attain speeds exceeding three feet, one meter per minute. Sea urchins are a favorite prey, but so are clams and snails. Sunflower stars themselves are often preyed upon by king crabs, but they can sometimes escape by shedding their arms, which regenerate within a few weeks. They're found in the Northwest Pacific and favor subtidal areas since they can't survive out of water. Number six, bat star. If there's an aquarium in the bat cave, it might contain these critters. They occur in numerous colors, including purple, red, orange, green, and brown. And while they usually have five arms, they can display as many as nine. They have a wide range along the western coast of North America, from Alaska to Baja, California. The common name bat star is a reference to the webbing located between their arms, which is thought to resemble bat wings. That's what some people think anyway. Do you see bat wings there? Number five, crown of thorns starfish. It's not difficult to see how this creature got its name. The starfish has 23 horn-like spines growing across its surface, the appearance of which inspired the biblical reference. This animal's spines are venomous, so it doesn't really have a way to impart its sting as such. But should the spines penetrate your flesh, the venom causes a sharp stinging pain that can last for hours. That's in addition to swelling and nausea that can last for a week. At nearly 14 inches, 35 centimeters, they're widely distributed across the Indo-Pacific region, but they also occur along the west coast of Central America. Their populations can be a plus or a minus for coral reef habitats. Low numbers benefit local biodiversity because they prey on fast-growing coral species, but too many of the starfish can damage coral reefs. Number four, brittle stars. Aphaeroids are another class of marine animals that are closely related to starfish. Commonly called brittle stars, they are known for their elongated, whip-like arms that can extend to 24 inches, 61 centimeters on larger specimens. The slender arms also inspire the nickname serpent stars and are used for locomotion. They belong to a class of creatures that can dwell at abyssal depths of more than 19,500 feet, 6,000 meters. More than 2,000 species of them are known to exist, some of which are bioluminescent. Did you know that in 2016, a new species of thorny brittle star was discovered deep in the waters of the South Pacific? Because it bore a likeness to a crown depicted in Game of Thrones, it was named after the series creator, George R.R. R. Martin. Number three, Morning Sun Star. Growing to about 16 inches, 40 centimeters, these animals can display up to 13 long tapering arms. They're known as voracious predators that feed mostly on other starfish. The leather star, which we mentioned previously, makes up about 50% of its diet. Although some sea stars are able to fight and escape, 
that's no problem for this creature because it also feeds upon its own species. They inhabit depths of nearly 1,400 feet, 420 meters, in waters ranging from China and Japan to the coast of Southern California. Number two, Doughboy Sea Star. If you look close enough and squint, you might see a resemblance to the Pillsbury Doughboy due to the animal's plump appearance. They're also called granulated sea stars and are found in tropical waters from East Africa to the Great Barrier Reef. At about 11 inches across, 27 centimeters, they prefer shallow waters where they prey on carrion and coral polyps. Number one, Brisingida sea stars. This name refers to an entire family of starfish that is found in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans and the Southern Ocean of Antarctica. They typically occur at extreme depths approaching 15,000 feet below the surface, 4,500 meters. They're notable for their unusual appearance and can display 18 long arms that are used for suspension feeding. That involves filtering water to capture prey as it drifts by. Did you know the name of this family is taken from Norse mythology? Brisingamen was the name of a necklace that belonged to Freya, a goddess linked to death and beauty. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.